Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Comment Group channel and this will be another video in this SEO framework and to end playlist series. In last video, we have already configured our test cases to run in different environments and we can pass the environment value at runtime using the pom.xml. Now let's refactor our test cases little more. If you see here in this test case, we are reading the environment value right and then we are reading the data file and then we are calling the perform post method so we should have some blocks actually which will help you to create the test cases or i can say that we need to create the reusable block so that we can use it wherever we required okay because a test case should not have this kind of things uh, here right why they need to bother okay which json file they need to read they should mention the environment name and everything should be configured. Okay, that means here perform post, right? Endpoint. Here we are reading the endpoint. Why we need to worry about that? Once we are passing the environment, okay, QA or dev. Okay, if the environment is QA, pick the QA endpoint. If it is dev, then pick the dev environment. So let's create a another label. For that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another class called base. So this base class I will use to set up the common things for all the test cases. Okay. So as of now, if you see this existing test case, from here I can understand, okay, I should have something to read the data file, right? Where we are storing the data like endpoints. So let's place this code in my base class. So here I am not going to use any annotations actually. I am going to use the static block. We know that a static block will be automatically executed once the class is loaded. So I'm going to use a static block instead of annotations. You can also use annotations, but let's try something different. Let's use a static block. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to, going to create a static block. So static was simple, just use the static keyword and use the braces. This is the static block. Inside this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this code. copy paste so here it will give some error let me see what is so unhandle exception so let me surround with the try catch i don't want to throw it always because if you throw and uh, you need to go and you need to make changes in other methods as well so let's try to handle it here only so what kind of exception we might get like file is not found so we can print some error message or you can terminate the program or you can do whatever you want to do because once the data file is not loaded why you want to proceed further so you can simply terminate the execution by giving the error message that file is not found so that way that type of coding will do later but as of now simply i am doing the try catch and i am not do, going to do anything in catch block so here it will be local variable so that i cannot use it again so what i am going to do i am going to create a again one static variable so public static and it will be a map of string string i will name it proper like data from json file and here i will use list of data so here you, one thing you should also notice i am trying to read the json file in a map of string string Okay, but that is possibility that you can have integer, you can have boolean, you can have different types of values as well. You can have nested JSON object also, you can have nested JSON array, anything is possible. So what we are going to do, instead of using the string string, let's use string and object. Okay. So obviously it will give you error here. Let's go here, JSON data as map. And here, what we are going to do, we are going to use string and object okay so this will help you to store any kind of value in your data file so let me change here as well as of now okay so we have created one base class where i am writing the code to load the data from json file okay now i'll get another label another block that will be another class okay 
and here I will name it as like airline API you'll see what is the use now so if you see the airline API documentation so we might have many API like create airline get airline details get passenger so many things are there right so all those things will be coming here we'll see gradually how it is coming but as of now we are just focusing on create airline so to create airline what you actually required you you may need to create an airline with different set of data right that is the one thing you require from the your testing perspective right the many things which endpoint it should pick uh, what are other basic thing it should be automatically configured okay for that what i'm going to do i'm going to use public void create airline okay simple this method will accept maybe your uh, a map payload you can have you can pass the payload in multiple ways okay but as of now we are just using the map so i'm using a map so here to pass the string and i will put object and i will name it as create airline payload so from where i'm getting the idea in this test case i just need to pass this data i don't need to worry about these things it should be configured it should be automatically based on your environment path or basic other basic details so for that again what i'm going to do here under the airline apis i should read the endpoint so for that i have already created a base class where i am loading the json file as a map so that i'm going to use here so to create airline what i require i require the endpoint so for that i will use the base class okay inside base class we have variable already static variable which is reading the data from json file as a map and here i will use the gate and i know that what is the key for that let me open the json file this is the key i'm going to use this here and let me store in a variable string and point okay so obviously i need to cast it because it is giving you giving you the value as an object so we need to cast it okay now now let's call this method this it will perform post let me copy it here and paste it here okay so instead of payload this will be the payload here okay so i'm using the same method creating this it will perform post i'm creating the endpoint here create airline payload i am passing the header as empty you can also have overloaded method where you are passing the headers as well that depends what is your requirement okay in this one you simply need to give me the payload that's all you need to do okay so i created this utility method with respect to test actually not the framework this is not framework method this is test method okay now let's see how it will be simplified what i'm going to do no need to reading this type of coding here no need to read endpoint and all you just need to read the payload and instead of calling this perform post directly why you need to worry about to call post or something no need to worry about that simply you need to call this method whatever we get under the airline because this is responsible okay which method i need to call perform post or perform gate whatever you have okay so what i'm going to do simple thing either you can create an object of this or in the airline test you can extend this class okay airline api okay so here what i'm going to do one mistake i did here after performing the post i should return something response right so i will return the response simply return statement even you can write in one line no need to read it here or storing in different variable you simply directly put this code here okay but let it be because you should also understand later so this method will return you the response in the airline test what i'm going to do i am initially calling this method i will call another method right which is create airline copy and call it here okay and what you to worry about just need to pass the payload see i am just simplifying the test cases how we should write okay and then you could you can do the assertion okay let me run the test case and before that let me change the id also so that we should see the green test cases green means 
past test cases okay so here you can see test cases are running and it is creating the airlines as well okay so what what we did in this video i just simply created another levels another layer actually all the methods all the test related method like create airline with the payload or if you you can have multiple methods multiple overloaded method for create airline itself okay here i am using the map but in in uh, upcoming videos i will use pojo classes so i will create one another overloaded method where it will accept the pojo pojo object instead of this map okay so that's why i created this layer here and in the airline airline test here thus i am using those things so keep try to keep less numbers of less lines of code in your test methods okay and call the building blocks so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone